This video is going to be all about making a collagraph or uh, what's otherwise known as a monoprint. So the first thing you're going to need is a hardboard piece that's 8x10. Uh, and as you can see on my hardboard piece, I have drawn out the scene in pencil that I want to make as my collagraph. Um, and then you're going to start building your collagraph plate with different mixed media materials in order to get different textures um, showing up on your prints. So I started with cardboard in this little cabin that I have in my scene. And then I'm using um, sort of like a reed um, or like a, a thin piece of wood to differentiate some of the textures in the cabin itself. So for the base um, and then for some of the, the stilts holding up the house. My mountains, I wanted to use some tin foil because it has sort of the texture of snow on top of a mountain. So I'm cutting it with scissors and an X-Acto knife. And I hot glued my cabin um, onto the drawing, but I wasn't really sure uh, about, you know, the, the tin foil and where I wanted it at first. So I'm temporarily masking um, this out with masking tape and just sticking it before I glue it. So with your plate, you can kind of play around with these different materials and these textures by just taping them and seeing if you like where they go before you glue them down. Now I'm using tissue paper because I wanted to differentiate the texture between the snow on top of the mountain and then the actual mountain itself. So I know that some of these textures aren't going to show up um, as well as others just because of the height of the material I'm using. So the height of my cabin is a little bit higher than the mountains, which is okay because I want that to be my focal point. Um, and you're going to notice as you print that some things are going to show up, you know, not quite as you see them on the plate. Um, but, but in a different way with the ink and the paper. So I'm trimming off the excess on the sides with an X-Acto knife, and I have glued down those pieces. I've also added a cardboard tree with a little bit more uh, negative space and texture by cutting out some of those limbs. And now I'm taking a burlap piece and creating it for the path leading up to the cabin, cutting it out with scissors and again temporarily taping it alongside my drawing. Um, just to make sure that everything lines up the way that I want it to before I glue it down with hot glue. And remember that color doesn't really matter. So these polka dots on my burlap aren't going to show up just because they're not a different texture. So if your plate has all these really cool colors that you would like to keep in your, your print, um, you're going to have to add those with ink. It's just not going to show up on the actual print itself. Now for one of my final areas, I'm adding this uh, twine, it's pretty thick, um, to sort of add like a grassy texture for like the plain and the valley that this is on, just to differentiate um, from the path and the tree and to add some really cool textures to my plate overall. So these I did have to hot glue down because they were um, a little bit thicker and they weren't going to stay with tape. So you can play around with different lines and movements and elements and principles to get some really cool shapes. Um, not on the video, I added some more toothpicks and some buttons just for some grass and different areas to fill up my plate. So now I'm going to take my um, plexiglass sheet and using block printing ink, mixing it up really well, and then spreading it out on my plexiglass with my brayer. You want it to be nice and sticky and evenly spread out on the brayer going back and forth, up and down, and then putting it onto the plate. Now you're going to need to play around with how many prints uh, you do for this and sort of what kind of paper uh, you, you want to print this on. So I'm adding a lot of uh, ink with the brayer to start and my first print is usually always my test print just to see if it's, if it's how I like it or if I need to make adjustments to my plate. So I'm using a paper I'm not um, really in love with, or it's not an expensive piece of paper. But then from that print, I can make adjustments. Um, and for this video, I decided, well, I need, I need some more ink. Um, and the brayer is just not cutting it because it's not getting into all the different parts and pieces of my plate. So I decided to grab a brush uh, and just a paintbrush. Now remember that the, the ink is very waxy. Um, and it's it's harder to dry than regular paint. So uh, when, you, when you get it on your hands, it's going to take a while to wash it off. And so if you're adding more to your plate, just know that your plate's going to take longer to dry. Um, so I'm adding more details, uh, hand painting them in. But then I'm also going to use my brayer at the end to even out some of this, this area. 
For my final print, um, I decided to dampen my paper by letting it soak in warm water for a couple minutes. Uh, and that to me produced the best result. So have a bowl of water uh, for your collagraph just to kind of see if that will give you more detail for your print. Um, it is definitely optional if you like your print to be uh, less detailed and you just want to have uh, the different elements of your plate without soaking your paper. That is totally up to you. I just found it had as much detail as I envisioned for my final design. So, like I said before, just evening it out, just playing around, making sure that I get as much color and detail on the plate uh, as possible. So my final print I created on um, drawing paper. This is not test paper. This is the one that I, I believe will be the best of the series. So it has all the different textures. Um, and as you can see, it's not like a painting. Um, it's obviously a contrasted image with lots of bright whites and then lots of dark darks and a lot of different cool textures in between. So this is me soaking the paper, um, painting on the ink and rolling the ink with the brayer to get the best results. So you really only need one excellent print since this is a mono print. So good luck, test it out and play around.